Welcome back to another silly rec room video. And of course, before we get started, last time threatening you guys for likes actually worked, and I had gotten more likes than I usually do for my videos. So I'm gonna do it again. <clears throat> like the video now. And of course, let's get started on our actual news today. But before we get started, be sure to use my code inside of rec room. I really do appreciate it. It helps me out a lot, and it's basically giving me like free money. I earn 7.5% of whatever you spend inside the game for completely free. It doesn't charge you or anything like that. And of course, I really do appreciate it. Now, inside our rec center, you guys will see that we have new featured rooms and that's pretty much it this board will update soon i'm sure and of course i can't wait to see what's next this item came inside the shop and i have about five tokens so just just ignore how broke i am and lastly for a bit of news we have our rec room update now i will admit we didn't really get a whole lot of rec room news in these last few days so we just kind of have this update to talk about but of course no worries let's of course get into the meat and bones and let's talk about this update the supposed or usual time for the actual rec room updates are usually on monday at 8 p.m pst and we had received update around that time. Titled the Free Movement Edition, we start off with these Rooms 2.0 tab. It's confirmed that Rec Room fixed a bug that prevented item skins from being applied in Rooms 2.0, they added a fix to prevent free parenting of animated objects due to animation errors, and lastly, there was a hierarchy auto-scrolling that now works instead of VR. They had a few updates to custom locomotion, and these include fully customizable air control, no more hidden modifiers, the acceleration time you pass in is what you get, they added an air control percentage trait, added an air control multipliers to the locomotion graph, you might also want to spawn a new locomotion graph you already spawned a player definition board inside your room. They added an on velocity modified event to the player. This event is fired anytime you use any of the following chips on a player, which are add velocity, set velocity, set velocity to over time. And then they fixed a bug where acceleration time wasn't respected while sprinting. They added comments explaining different sections of the locomotion graph, fixed bugs inside the default graph, connected air control calculations, and lastly, prevent your gaze direction from stopping your sprint and kicking you off the wall. Then they had full body avatar improvements and bug fixes. Is. They go on to say, we've heard feedback that some players felt the head was a bit too big. We wanted to give you control to return it back to bean size, and you can find this setting by navigating to the face customization page and selecting the adjust option presented on the selected face shape. And lastly, adjusted the head positioning for better animations when moving around. Now, I'm just taking a little pause here inside the update because I want to check out this new feature and stuff like that, but I had a, I saw a few opinions about this newest AMA. Now, I haven't watched the AMA yet, but I have seen that a lot of Raccoon players thought this recent AMA was pretty lackluster and didn't really tell us much. So, of course, of course, what were your guys' thoughts on it as well? Of course, back to our update, and now as you guys can see inside your customized menu, you should see that this little face icon has an adjust button, and then you're able to actually change your head size, which is freaky. <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep it big, I kinda like how it's bigger and stuff like that, but of course, what are your guys' thoughts? Ah, I'm chillin', just chillin'. Oh, hey, you viewers just caught me while I was chillin', in my beanbag, of course. Anyways though, did you know that I, yes me, have a channel membership? That maybe just works just like a Patreon, and basically, all you gotta do is give me some money per month and you get a few perks. And one of those perks are being shouted out in all my videos. So, of course, massive stinky shout out to all my pookies, which are my channel memberships, and these people include Jack Tutorial, Ghastly, Garlic Bread, Coley, It's Ready RR, Not the Pup, Dozer Blade Cats, BBB Burning Alp, Guy, Yotes, JK, Raphael, Cloud, Netflix 69 and Box David. People that get shouted out in all my videos are Calamari through Octopus, and if you're a squidling, I appreciate your love and support too. Now, onwards, back to our update. Inside of General Improvements bug fixes, they say this. They introduced a more variety of can chat options. Third person camera is no longer blocked by collision that doesn't block movement or interaction like decorations. They tuned the steering wheel animations and vehicles, and now your drifting clips will look even smoother. They fixed an issue where the hands would lose collision with grabbed objects. Fixed a bug that caused Maker Pen Palette to sometimes not properly update with the list of available chips when editing in and out or working with functions. And lastly, they added the Git Player Volume Chip and Player Git Profile Image chip in beta. Then they have this experiments tab for our last bit of the update and they go on to say experimenting with autocomplete drop downs to the rec room search input field and finding out what you should see should be easier. And lastly experimenting with the filtering feature that allows rooms on the play highlight page to be filtered by room capacity and by current party size. And of course that's our entire update. Be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts on all the features that they added for full body or the experiments etc etc. I want to see your guys' comments and of course if you haven't already be sure to subscribe. A like would be cool too and shoot if you want to see more Rec Room News content, you can probably see a video that I made on the actual side of the screen right now. Go on. Press it. Press it. Ugh.